My family may not be perfect. We may not always see eye to eye, but one thing we do agree on, we are for sure family. Hey, what's up, Forcer fam? It's your boy, Running Dad. Back at it again here with another video. Today I'm gonna be doing a review of the A623 Keanu. So if you don't know, again, I am a runner. I've been running for the last five years. I'm currently getting ready to run the, in the Army 10 mile next week. So I thought I'd do a video of one of my favorite shoes, uh, as you can see, I'm wearing an ASICS hat. Although this is not an ASICS sponsored uh, video. ASICS, if you're out there, I'm a runner. I love your product. Please sponsor me. Well, now that we got that out of the way, uh, this video came about because, you know, people want to know what kind of shoes to wear. But, you know, before we get into that, you have to know what kind of foot do you have? Like there's three different categories. Number one, you're either neutral. What does that mean? It means that your foot goes straight. And let me get this shoe right here for demonstration purposes. So it means that your shoe goes straight ahead like this. Go straight down and go straight ahead. That's neutral, okay? So now we have over pronate. And what does that mean? It means you go from your back of the heel to the front of your left pinky toe, in this case, because it's the left shoe right here that we're, we have. So that's over pronation from heel to toe. Now we have under pronation, which is the opposite way, which is rolling inward, in toward your thigh. So again, you're gonna hit the back of the heel and you're running toward your big toe. And how do I know that um, I pronate or am I uh, a neutral runner? Uh, the one thing you can do, the easiest way, the best way, is to find a store. It's a, basically a specialty store, a running store that does, you know, exams. They'll use a machine. You'll stand in there and they'll have you um, the computer will let them know based on your arch and your whether you have high arches, neutral arches, and you know maybe they'll have you run a little bit and they'll record you of how you're running. Another way to notice is just by looking at the bottom of your shoe. I'm not sure if you can see this, but right here, this is one of my old shoes, and right here there's, there's a lot of wear and tear right here because I pronate. So I'm going from my back to, again, to the pinky toe, which is located on this side, because it's upside down. It's on this side, so you can see the, the wear pattern, so that's another way. So, just so you know, these shoes are for over pronation people. So, here we go. Before I get to this reveal, again, don't forget to like, subscribe. We count on you for your family to share our videos. We're trying to get to a thousand subscribers. Again, we can't do it without your help. So you know what to do. Tell somebody. Have them like, subscribe, and comment. Please, please. All right, so here we are. And these are Pure platinum, white. I know probably what are y'all, some of y'all are saying, man, white. I would never bought white shoes. They're gonna get so dirty. Um, the reason why I bought this color, cause I was thinking about doing a custom design. I have been watching a lot of YouTube and uh, there's this one called the Hydro Drip. And I, inter inter I am interested in doing so. Again, I'm not gonna try to bore you with the shoe. I'm just gonna go over some basics over, over the shoe. Overall, this is a considered a stability shoe and it does have a lot of cushioning. So, right here you can see the cushioning. 
This is the midsole right here. It has gel in there. And this is the bottom portion of the sole. It just has flight foam. This is one of their new technologies. It's supposed to be 55% lighter than EVA foam. It just means that it makes the shoe very, very, very light. And so these are, again, the Kiano 23s. So again, they're, they're kind of heavy, you know, they're at a 11.5 ounces. Um, so the flight foam gives the, gives the, and the sole gives the unit a superior light ride. Okay, and then right here where it says fluid fit. So this is the fluid fit upper. So what does that mean? It just means that it has a nice form fitting material and it gets snug to the feet. And you see this little crease right here, this little bend that helps you with the flexibility to bend as you go from heel to toe, heel to toe, or you know, midfoot to forefoot. So again, there's abundance of cushion throughout. And we'll just go over some of the more details. So this is what you call the Dino Dual Max. So what does that mean? This is basically what keeps you from pronating. So again, when you're going pronation, you're going from the bottom of the heel to the forefoot of the toe, which is the outer. You're rolling your foot outwards to the pinky toes. So right here, if we look at the bottom, again has this, they call this a ISC. It basically, it tells you everything on the shoe is a guidance line. It helps you guide your foot along the road. And you see this little like plastic piece right here. That's how you know that this is an over pronation shoe because it has this little plastic piece. And I'm gonna show you the difference. So this is another Asics shoe that I have over here. Again, it has the same guideline right here. But if you notice, the plastic pieces are straightforward. It has two plastic pieces, one right here, one right here. This shoe is for neutral. And again, this right here is for people that pronate. So again, the plastic design is very different on this shoe right here. So you wonder why I'm showing you the 23. Uh, these shoes are very expensive. They run usually about 160. And so they come out with a new shoe every year. So what I try to do as a runner, I try to buy the previous models because they lower the prices. So once they go under six, I mean, uh, once the price goes under hundred dollars, then that's when I try to buy them. So uh, right now, you know, I probably have at least three more pairs of these Kayano 23s. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to give me some 24s or some 25s because right now the new 26s came out. And so again, right here, as you can see, has this hard metal plastic. And what that does is it forms like a heel cup. So it has your, once your foot is in there, it creates a good, nice, tight seal on your foot. And then and I'm gonna share with you one of my uh, tips that I have for lacing. Um, this is my personal preference. Again, you don't have to do this, but for me, it just helps a lot and secure my ankle into the shoe and it prevents my heel from coming out. Again, um, these are, some people say these are a little narrow, so you may have to go up a half size. I normally wear a nine and a half, but these are tens. And so because of that, sometimes the width will be correct, but sometimes the, you know, your heel may be a little bit loose in the heel. So in order to lock that in, this is what I do. You're just gonna take your shoestring, you know, put in the eyelet that's open, bring it through, do the same on the other side. Now you're gonna take this eyelet that you just created right here. I don't know if you can see it, there's like two little bunny ear hoops. 
And you're gonna tape the one across and slide that in there. And then you're gonna do the same to the other side. So it just locks that shoe in there and I don't know, I like the way it locks in the lace right here. And then you're just gonna tie it as normal. And y'all do the you do the two bunny ears or a swoop swoop and pull, you know. So I know it's not pretty, but this is just for demonstration purposes. So um that's pretty much it over the review. Again, this is the A6. Gel Keanu 23s. Again, this is for over pronation shoe. It does provide a lot of stability. And uh, this is one of the number one shoes that ASIC has for over pronation. Uh, again, I've been wearing this shoe for the last five years, so I can attest to it and let you know that I am for sure these shoes are very comfortable and they do work. Uh, I haven't tried a lot of other brands, but uh, how I got to this brand is I did a Google search, you know, I wanted to see, I Googled what shoes that are Boston Marathon, uh, Marathon runners are wearing and the top three searches were A6, Brooks and Ciccone. So um, I tried, I did try some Brooks first. Uh, they were very form fitting, comfortable, but for me, they wasn't really as cushioned. Uh, because again, I'm a heavy person, so I need a lot of cushion when I run because my feet pound the ground real hard, boom, boom, boom. I need that extra support. And once I tried the Asics, uh, they were very, they were more cushioned than the Brooks were. And so I fell in love with the Asics. So here I am. Again, I'm running dead. This is a thank you for watching, supporting our channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Until next time. We'll see you. This is a warm welcome from the bottom of our hearts from the Foreshore Family Channel. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications. Until next time, see ya.